Bye bye. That's true, Candy. I rode the bus Duh. with your stupid ass. Okay. We here for I both. I like that answer. Lollipop, we gotta work on your answer. <laughs> I'm here for both. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, we appreciate like, the honesty. Hey, fuck it. Fuck it. It's nothing wrong with being a trick. Like we earn. Wait, 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 wait. Hey, wait, 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 wait. What happened? What happened? What happened? You're our boyfriend. Our boyfriend is supposed to be our trick. You want other niggas giving us money? No. She's blowing. Right? She's blowing. No, no, I don't know. No. Listen, I'm deaf. listen, you're our boyfriend. You like that. You're supposed to she, check out yeah, us if we blew. earn it. She blew. So we don't earn what we get. She blew. We always earn what we get. Instagram. She so. <laughs> Lollipop will be moving out. Oh my God, stop. <laughs> Candy, she just said that shit on live. She just blew it. Y'all, it's really a joke. It's I, a joke. I, I, she blew it. I, She's uh, not a crip. Bro, when we you go know? shopping, you always say, I feel like tricking. I feel like tricking today. So you be saying you're a trick. <laughs> Say no What in the fuck? Are, what? You said what that. What the fuck we ever go shopping, first of all? <laughs> don't know one. Hey, don't, don't play, my nigga. When don't the fuck play. We go I don't know. I stay I took home. Shopping. I stay home all we the time. We just went shopping the other day. I don't go I anywhere and yeah. I stay home all the fucking time. Where are we go? When we went and you got shit too. From where? The stores in Fox Hill. No, it wasn't Fox Hill. That was like two months ago. That wasn't two months ago. Right. So. All right, Lollipop, you out of the picture. You cropped out. He's mad because I'm Stop. Out She's you. cropped out. He's Which one does my butt look good in? You let me, Candy. Oh, my butt looks good in that one, too. I ain't fucking with you. Did you know that becoming a rapper is the number one cause of death amongst young black men? Have you ever wondered why the incarceration and murder of rappers is so accepted and somewhat celebrated amongst today's society? Today, we're going to explore an example of this phenomenon. Welcome to The Rap Trap, hosted by Ayo Conseco. Welcome back to the Rap Trap. I am Ayo Conseco, fearless leader of Ayo Nation and the Men Too Movement. If you've not signed the Men Too petition or donated to the Men Too GoFundMe, then I'm gonna just I'm not I was gonna say I I, I hope that you know you catch a, 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 a false rape case and shit like that, or it falls on somebody in your household. But no, I didn't name what that is. It's you just a you just another person. You just uh you can't hear because you're the type of person that you need for it to happen to someone around you in order for you to feel it. Like, um, which I, I guess in some ways we're all guilty of this shit. Um, you don't, you don't give a fuck about, but see, that's the difference though. This ain't the same as not giving a fuck about, um, the, how they're charging for cancer medication and shit like that and, and that whole situation like how you have to be on you have it, it's damn near impossible to stay on the Medicare system that pays for your cancer medication because the cancer medication is so high so that fight is something that oh, I hope nobody in my family catch cash even though you should be worried about that because we don't know how to fuck especially if you're not eating right um, or living right you should be worried about that shit. Um, but this is different because this is for anybody who's uh, any anyone. Because even if you're um, a female, you have a loved one that's a male. And it can fall on them just as long as they fucking live. Because a nigga don't have to be fucking to get a fucking... You understand? I got a video I'm gonna drop my Instagram or some nothing ass bitches... Of uh, getting mad for some fucking reason, they came to a party to be nothing ass bitches, and then they start talking about y'all raped us, and it and it's just it's fucking ridiculous. Uh, but this is what the fuck goes on. So this ain't no ah that shit ain't never gonna happen. Like, are you serious? Nigga trying to get in front of this shit, but I'm not going into all them speech. We already did all that. I holler at y'all, see what you want to do. 
for the people who did and fuck with it, it's love. But um, it's pretty much decided I'm going to DC by myself. So um, so we'll go, we'll go. When I go do that thing, I'm gonna do that by myself. I heard that motherfucker go off. All right, but today, obviously, this is in hindsight. Y'all gotta excuse me, you know, when we talk about that man too shit, I get kind of thrown off. All right, blue face. Blueface gets upset, and why is this on the rap trap? Blueface um, finding out that the people around him don't give a fuck about him. We should understand why that's on the rap trap, because that's what happened. Uh, Blueface finds out um, that the white bitch, one of the white hoes, because he's lame as fuck, so he can only talk to white bitches. Niggas can run that whole, uh no, nah, man, you know, black, black, man, black girls, they just be too grimy and all that. Uh, and I, I feel you, dog. Your preference is your preference, and you don't have to live up to my standard. But from I, from the place where I sit and from where I stand and my experience, which is only but so far, I don't know nothing but, you know what I'm saying? Just pretty much street shit, gangster shit. That's the only thing I pretty much understand. But it's just like whenever, whenever you see a nigga with a white girl, it's just like it's understood. She there to give head and take whatever charge. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no fucking relationship. And if it is a relationship, it's some weird shit. It's, it's on. That's a. That's a. You know what I'm saying? That nigga is just a. You'll be able to tell that when you see what he got on, and you know what I'm saying. You'll be able to tell what's going on with this. To, to actually have a white holder where you have to be. Faithful to this white bitch. We, I don't give a fuck if that whole think that she black and no shit like that. But you know what though? You know, I don't know my nigga. I don't know. I don't dog. Cause I mean, cause cause if you uh shit, you know, you got a white girl that was just raised by black people and shit like that. I mean, then then I mean, obviously that should be different. Shouldn't it? I don't know, my nigga. Like I said, I'm I'm not that, I'm not that cultured. When I see a nigga, I'm just gonna this. I'm I'm speculating, my nigga. I just give you speculation. When I see a nigga with a white hoe, I think that nigga lame as fuck. And and what what and what does it matter that I think that? I'm just saying though. I just don't understand why. Like we know what white hoes is for. They to get head and to do whatever you want to do. That is not, why would you have to be in a relationship with that? I'm sure that if you went down the line, you can find, you know, the similarities between, but I'm just saying this from where I stand and just, you know, that country and shit I was raised on. It's just some in me. If you see me with a white bitch, we fucking ain't nothing to it. It's just like that. I'm never going to call no white hoe my girlfriend. Why the fuck would I have to do that? That's, I, that's, that's, just, I don't, that's just lame as fuck to me. I'm going to be honest. It's not no pro-black shit. It's just lame as fuck to me. But, uh, and that, and that really goes into the whole way of thinking of this shit. When you look at the niggas who run to these white girls, you look at them and you say, all right, that's why the fuck you went over there. What's the idea, you know, because I'm hearing, I'm already hearing the comments, you know what I'm saying, reading them. What's to say I won't go out in the world and then get cultured and find out, oh, that's what that is. But I'm never, and you can put this on my word, I'm never going to date a white girl. I'm never going to date her. Dating means, you know, bring her home and actually court. I just, that's just not what that is. We, I, cause I, like I told you, I'm scared of white girls. Hey yo, what it do, man? It's your man, Ayo Conseco. I'm tuning in with the Big Face Podcast. One. I can't do it. I can't do it. That just ain't my style, dog. I just, I just gotta keep it real. 
Look, dog, let me holler at y'all. Look, I don't put that Patreon, them numbers for the Patreon. That's for AO Nation. If you're in AO Nation, you need to be a Patreon. I don't put all the videos. They won't be listed on YouTube. So if you want all the videos and shit like that, you need to be a Patreon. If you want to contribute to the conversation that we have every Monday night, we go live on the Big Bass Podcast YouTube channel at 9 p.m. Central Standard Time. If you want to contribute to that conversation, have the call in number to where you can call in at any fucking time during those lives, you need to be a Patreon. I don't put those Patreon numbers and the men two numbers at the beginning of the show just so you can hear Winning Streak. As a matter of fact, if you want the whole Winning Streak single, all you have to do is send two dollars to the Cash App or the PayPal, um, and I'll send the song to whatever email is attached to your PayPal or Cash App. It's not that fucking hard. Um, but the Patreon is for AO Nation. I expect for y'all to fuck with that. Um, and before y'all start asking, this hat is not for sale. Um, the markup on it is too high. I was just trying to see what that shit looked like for real. The markup is too high right now, so I have to sell that shit for like $30, and I'm not prepared to say that to y'all. Um, so right now we just have the Men 2 t-shirt for 20 uh, Big Face Podcast. We have the new Navy Blue Big Face Podcast uh, t-shirt. Uh, 15, everything is 15 with the Men 2 t-shirt. Then you got the Big Face Podcast Scully for uh, $10 deal. Go to paypal.me forward slash are you serious 10 and put all your information in that motherfucker. Um, I salute everybody, all of my niggas, all of the Men 2, Men 2, Men 2 members, AO Nation members that have been donating to the show. As you know, I'm a nigga on YouTube, so it is what it is. So when you contribute, it's a big deal to me, um, but don't go crazy. Uh, but every uh, third Sunday, we do the AO Nation donation conversation where I shout out everybody who showed love uh, within that period and shit like that. If you don't want to be mentioned during that show, all you have to do is put no mention and you won't be mentioned. Um, but I really do appreciate everybody who shows love every third Sunday. It seemed like my message has went out there to where people know if you're a small business, you gotta have at least $100 for promotion. Uh, if you're an artist, you need to have at least $200 for promotion. Other than that, just leave me alone. I do this shit by myself, but I salute everybody for really giving me my time, giving my space to do what the fuck I'm supposed to be doing. So I salute you. You wanna go to work? Let's go to work. If IG sponsorship shit is not doing shit for you, and you know that. So handle your fucking business, holler at me. Let's get some shit done. I see y'all in a minute. Get your shit together, be home. I'm scared of them, even though, like I'm telling y'all, it, it's, it's dangerous for everybody out here. But as far as a white girl, I just, I'm just, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and really, you shouldn't be like that because, you know, if you look at it, it's just like a police officer. You should be way more scared of a nigga, you know what I'm saying, than you should be of a police officer. Um, but see, I live that, so I, I the, the motherfucker can't tell me that shit. But... That white girl thing, it's just, it, it, oh, that's what the fuck that is. It's just like you just asking for trouble. It's like you just asking, like, yeah, just go ahead and just, you know what I mean? It just, I, I don't, just my mind ain't wrapped that way. You know what I'm saying? I'm sure there's so many good white women out there for so many things, but as far as, a serious relationship I'm I'm not going to be able to do that I already have an issue period um, with respecting women with respecting bitches you know what I'm saying it's just like it's, it's, it's kind of like the same way police officers and the judicial system sees me you know what I'm saying? I'm guilty till proven innocent. But it's different because even when I'm proven innocent, I'm still guilty. I just probably, I scam my way out of it. Um, But with a white girl, man, it's just like, um, I got to look at, oh, with a, um, with a bitch, with, with, a, uh, with a female, it's like, you're going to have to prove to me that you're not what I see every day. Because I've seen every cover that there is school, church, occupation, kid, you know what I'm saying? They come in all flavors and still 
behind that shit is the same. You take that face off, you take that job or whatever that that that, uh, that title is, and you get the same thing. You get the same thing. So, but that's I, you know, and then even in the Bible it says, um, I don't quote me, but it says, um, blessed is the one that finds a wife and stuff like that. So obviously they're not gonna be just ah, oh, hey, 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 everyone on you know what I'm saying. It's gonna be a whole bunch of bad. And it's going to be the needle in the haystack. And that's why you will cherish the good woman that you find. And you won't treat her like the bitch. You will treat her like a woman. Like you won't, you're not going to cheat on her. Because it's like, I don't want this motherfucker to leave. I'm not going back out here in this world with these nothing ass bitches. out this motherfucker. Swear to God. I'm not going to get this motherfucker. No reason. I'm going to keep this shit on the up. You know what I'm saying? You actually find a girl who meets all those requirements and then you know listen to me talk <laughs> what if you fuck around and you're uh you know like in my profession whatever like that I start moving around the world and you know fuck around and get an assistant or something like that and she'll be white or something like that you know I have plenty of you know women doing plenty of stuff but um because I don't fuck with dudes um but It'll be a white girl, and she'll be the one that meets all the requirements. But you don't know though if she meets those requirements until you cross that line. This is the whole thing. This is the whole thing. We got to talk about this more on the Big Space Podcast about what are those requirements of a good woman. Because as time goes, you know, some of these things, some of these requirements require six months you know what i'm saying a year she hasn't done this for a whole year she hasn't done this for a whole six months you know what i'm saying she hasn't called she hasn't called me asking why i haven't called her in six months you know what i'm saying it, and it's something like fuck, you can't say well she ain't fucked another nigga in six months no no you know what i'm saying she hasn't asked for money. We've been together for a whole year. She's never asked for money. You know what I'm saying? Some things take time. You can't say, on the first day, she didn't ask no money. The fuck? She, she bought me something. Come on, you lame ass nigga. You the one they want, man. You the one they want. And, that, and then we get back to, you know, that, that's the most shit, though. But let me finish that thought. So there's no way that an assistant of mine could meet those requirements because you have to stay in the house with a person to even find some shit out, dog. I'm trying to tell you what's going on, man. See? Nigga, you don't even find out what the fuck going on until you get tired of fucking this bitch. Nigga, you don't get... You, nigga, you don't... Nigga... The test don't even start until you tired of fucking this hoe. That's when everything start. God damn, this bitch in the kitchen again, nigga. Shit, man. You just mad at everything. But boy, this motherfucker walk in the door and leave the door open. Leave the door unlocked. That's all good, man. That's my baby, man. That's all good, man. She just be forgetting sometimes. You know what I'm saying? But, nigga, once you get tired of fucking that hoe, man, God damn, dog. Close that goddamn door. Like, shit, nigga, I ain't even in the door yet. Fuck that shit. You know what I'm saying? Just whatever, man. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I say that relationship shit it take too much thought, take too much out of you. Uh I was just talking to uh, that boy from Yerp TV earlier. Um Quasimodo. And uh, I was telling him about uh having the privilege of dating. Um until you reach a certain point of success, success comes in phases. You got, ah, oh, I'm successful now, all oh, good. Is success fame to you? You have to set what that success is. Um, and I say you have to set it, you have to set it. Um, because success to you could be getting a promotion at your job. I can say that working at your job, you're a failure anyway. But if that's successful to you, all good. But I think we should all have a level of success that says, but when you have the privilege of, of dating, is when you're able to, when your money 
is making money no matter where the fuck you are and what you're doing. So when you can, Vlad said this also, uh, when your money starts making money for you, until your money starts making money for you, you're poor. You're broke. Because all the money's gonna do is get spent. It's not doing shit. The money has to go to work. So that's, you know, investment. So I got some shit out there in fucking California. I got some shit out there in fucking uh, Nebraska. Got some old motherfuckers. Niggas got a tech company out there. So my money is rising. It's working. And I don't have to do a motherfucking thing. Now I can focus on another person. But until then, I have to be online all fucking day long. I have to be working all fucking day long until I find a way to become successful, to be financially independent. Um, so when you when you playing this game, um, oh yeah, man, we just dating and shit like that. Like it's just you you you're headed. You're just playing with failure. It's not gonna work. Um, not if you're ambitious. If you're ambitious, it's not gonna work. Ah, oh, you spending too much time with, like, what's too much time? I haven't found out how the fuck I'm gonna do this shit yet. What the fuck do you mean too much time? Bitch! I'm coming to, to bed a whole fucking three hours earlier than I would if you were not here. And these are the issues that are gonna pop up once you get tired of fucking this bitch. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. This is the reason why you don't try to date while you're on dope. Because if in that relationship, within that relationship, you want to stop doing that drug, the relationship is over. Not because you're going to be in such bad shape, but because once you get sober, you're not even going to find that person attractive no more. Your whole world is going to turn in a totally different direction. Everything that you fuck with whilst under that spell of addiction, you will not fuck with once you become sober and focused. Everything. So you're, you're fucking people's lives up. And ladies, you need to understand that. Understand that to the to the umpteenth to the umpteenth if a nigga is smoking weed or well when the fuck if this nigga ever get his act together and this is i think some females know this this is why they will perpetuate or maybe put you in a stressful situation so that you have to keep doing though you better look what the fuck going on man but i feel like the same way that the same rule with dope is the same rule. Check this shit again. Ain't nothing worse than goddamn that bitch cutting off me at goddamn stride and you gotta do that shit over. I check that shit whenever. But it will be the same thing as um the same rule you have for not engaging in any relationship, real relationship, um, whilst being a drug addict. You shouldn't date while you're broke. Seriously, date while you're broke. Broke meaning you don't have your money working for you. You don't fuck about the job you got. If you're an ambitious person, this is all for people who are entrepreneurs that want more out of life. If you're good with working a job and someone else um, paying you, someone else being a boss and shit like that, man, do your thing, dog. Do your thing. If you're just living life to live life and you don't give a fuck, you good. You're blessed, believe me. You don't have to be up at uh, 1.41 in the morning when you gotta get up and, you know what I'm saying, well then, gotta be there at one o'clock, but I, I, just, I like to sleep. But when you have this thing in you that says that you need, people need to know that you were here on earth, you, don't, you can't just come and go like everybody else, you have to, or like your children are not, your children are not gonna look at you like, yeah, you gotta go to work, honey, and all, yeah, so, no, no. You're not gonna pass down a fucking debt 
fucking a slave, you're gonna pass down a business. You know what I'm saying? Like an empire type shit. And you're not just saying this shit because a lot of folks will say, uh, yeah, I'm paying down an empire. My nigga, you work, are you serious? What empire? When are you gonna start working on it? And that's another thing I was talking about, dog. I'm just not with, if I know, if you have, if I have your number, you have mine, and we're in good stand. if I haven't deleted your number, and we're in good standing in my eyes, dog, I'm, and I see you on social media doing meaningless shit, non-productive shit, if, yo, if out of the last 10 posts you made, none of them were of what the fuck you do, showing what it is that you do, you're just talking on it, just making posts, talking, posting memes and shit like that. Man, I'm finna call you to make sure that that's not what the fuck you own. Because if you own it, I don't need your number. I shouldn't have your number in my phone. At all. I made a mistake. I'm just trying to make... Did I make a mistake? Okay, just let me know. I ain't making a mistake. You need to get the fuck on what the fuck you doing. Because I'm trying to go somewhere... And I just, I really feel like the only way I'm going to get there is if I surround myself with people who also wear this fucking burden on their back to be somebody and do something great. And not, not be able to say when they're going to wake up, what's going to happen and be their own fucking boss. And being your own fucking boss means that you'll have to be up. At all hours means that you won't be able to be at the club. Obviously, mean that you won't be able to do dope. Mean that you won't be able to have sex every night. Because I'll say this to you: I'm fully celibate, uh, so celibate that I don't even masturbate anymore because I believe that that sexual energy. Gives me luck. But if. What you have to do. To get into this. To get to this point. Is maybe. I I just. So I'll. I don't know if I should do that. I ain't going to do that. I ain't going to do that. I'm not going to give you no shortcut. Be celibate. So you're not going to have to have. You're not going to have sex at all. At all. No sex. Maybe you can start off with porn hub, because I started off with porn hub, and then you'll gradually make your way there. Um, and I'm still trying to find things in my life that I can cut out to make more time and energy for what it is I want to do and what I want to be in life. I'm not going, I'm like, I'm not, this podcast shit ain't my, you know what I'm saying? Like, I got a whole... You know, the, the me and two thing is, is that's uh, that's my fight and shit like that, but that's not the whole thing. Like, I got a whole fucking business I'm doing. And I have to work on it. I have to continuously work on it. To get better at it. Listen to people. And that's why when I see people like Blueface, this, 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 this whole thing, it... it, it pretty much solves itself. This is how lame niggas get treated. You you take on more than, when I was pimping, I pimped one hole until it was time to get two holes. And then when the fucking informant came, I shut the shit down. Actually, I didn't shut it down. I ran. I ran. But I, I, I saw... And actually, let me be honest, let me stop this shit. God made it so everything happened the way it was supposed to happen. Because that was the time, by that time, they had already changed the pimping law and the pimping and pandering shit into human trafficking. You know what I'm saying? So for me to get hit, and I was 22 years old, for me to get hit at that point in time for that shit, that would have been like some... You know what I'm saying? But the point is... Until it was time to upgrade, I didn't. I didn't just, hey, what the fuck, you know what I'm saying? It was... Uh, a bitch will go out there and fuck niggas for you. 
just because she wants to make you happy. I, I want to just, I don't give a fuck what he calls me. You know what I'm saying? And see, this is on some shit. That's why I'm looking at this boy. And it's like, hold, hold on, look. Like, I feel what you got going on, but see, this ain't no, you, it's, see, money is the blinder uh, that distracts and fucks up everything. You can't, you nigga, you don't know what the fuck going on. And fame does, this, uh, and notoriety does the same thing. Um, even now with me, um, everybody come, ah, ah, I love that, ah, I love that, and shit like that. And then, usually you know though, because niggas come, I love this, hey man, can you listen to this? Hey, love that shit, hey, can you listen? And that's why I respect niggas like, um, the niggas who, you know, came the right way. I ain't gotta, you know, but, This shit can fuck you up, and if you've never had it, man, you're gonna go crazy. You're gonna, uh, I'm, the, I'm the man, I got me two bitches, man. Got me two bitches, man. Yeah, shit, yeah. And then you get offended when a motherfucker say, shit, yeah, I'm here for the money. Yeah, you ain't here for me. Do you know my real name? Yeah, Blueface. And then you start remembering. This is why it's a trap. The people who do know your real name, like your sister and your mama, they trying to destroy what you got going on. The niggas that know your real name, they hating on you and shit. The motherfuckers that don't know your real name, it's only them. For your rap name. All you want is for somebody to actually have genuine love for you. So the people who do know me hate me. They're jealous. The new people only love blue face. I can't make these people love me. I can't make these people stop hating. And I can't make these people love who I really am. And that's when you have to, what do you hear? And so you have to have some type of foundation. This is a very big part of the rap trap. A lot of things they get done is because you are alienated. You're out here in fucking what they call purgatory. You're in limbo. Ah, we are here. Ah. fuck nigga. But all that I really want is for y'all to fuck with me. The fame is making it, the fame and success is making it impossible for y'all to show love. And then the fame and success is making it impossible for y'all to love me because y'all can't see past it. And that's and, and and see, this is what happens when you're in the rap trap, because nine times out of ten, the person that you're portraying yourself to be that everyone loves is the furthest thing from who you are. These people that this fake persona that you made up is attracting are nothing like you. Look what happened. The people that actually knew you and more or less loved you for who you are, that fame is, that persona 
they can't stand it because they know that that's not you. That's not you. But y'all can't sit back and have good times anymore because you're no longer the person that they knew anyway. When you created this persona, it entered, it entered you <laughs> to where you can't shake it off. You can't shake it. And once you do shake it off, everybody will think you went crazy and then shit will go back to normal. Uh, folks out there will say, that nigga fell off. And folks out there will say, and that's when everybody will be in con uh, accordance, uh, what is that, concordance? They'll coordinate uh, 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 simultaneously, they'll say, that nigga fell off, that nigga fell off. I told y'all that bitch would go off. Now, nah, what if I was still talking? Told you. Now, they don't fuck with you, and they don't fuck with you, so you're alone again. So, I, where it really comes down to is... You can either be alone with money and success and fame or be alone and be broke. Because we have to, as we're thinking about this shit, we have to think about it. Who was I before this shit popped off? The streets was, they were, they were fuck. But you know what though? You know what though? A lot of times, you will have more love, and, it's, and that's just the way it is. That's the way our minds, and that's the human mind, because it happens on all fields. Because people look at you different when you become successful, peer point blank. So, the people who were fucking with you, as long as you were on this low level, and you were for the hood, nigga doing for the hood, nigga, oh, for the hood. Because everybody knew that you was just getting from, you was out in front of the stove selling CDs. Fuck that nigga, why didn't he there? But now when you see the in the stove for 12, man, that nigga done got there one Hollywood, bro. The whole world buying this shit for $12.99. But then when the hood was just buying it for $5, man, they were with you. But now the whole world buying it for $12.99, that nigga went Hollywood, bro. Because they really know you. And it's just like, this is the, this is what this is. This is what this is. So in order to be successful, you have to have this mindset of, I'm used to being alone, I'm fine with being alone. I'm not going to, I'm gonna be, I'm going to be like a workaholic. When your parents, or when you go to work, I said your parents because they had old timey jobs and shit like that. Um, it was made for a better analogy. They go to work. As you get older, you stray away. You get further and further away from your friends and become more friendly with the people that are in your career field. You know what I'm saying? So you got friends at home and shit like that, but you don't talk to them as much as you talk to the other real estate agents, the other doctors, the other veterinarians, the other podcasters. Because y'all have more to talk about, and y'all have more in common. People at home, they, they still own whatever the fuck they own. Unless y'all have, y'all are in fields that kind of go with each other, and y'all can coagulate. Um, but you should look at it just like that. As I'm going into this entertainment industry, I'm going to be with my co-workers the majority of the fucking time. That's my road manager, my manager, publicist, you know what I'm saying, producer, engineer, makeup artist, if I ain't said that already. These are going to be my friends at this point because we're always together. But they're not my friends. They're my co-workers. And you cannot forget that. We're here for money. These people were here for love. Very important to make that motherfucking distinction. Because when you get in these fucking offices, I saw her, uh, shout out to Katrina Gibbs, on a Conversation With Me podcast, I saw her say that uh, Blueface, has he's never seen this fucking contract. And, that's, and it reminds you of Tupac because... I thought I heard that shit again. It reminds I gotta get a lot of buzz. It reminds you of Tupac because 
it was said that Tupac was given a deal out of jail and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, fuck that deal. Now, I'm trying to get out of this bitch. So I sign for whatever. And when you a nigga with nothing, you know what I'm saying? Like, fuck this shit. I don't give a fuck with that YouTube or Instagram. Say, nigga, I'm broke as fuck out this bitch. Whatever, man. Just come on with it, dog. God damn. You know what I'm saying? And then a nigga, and that's why I kind of, that's why, I, listen, y'all. It's a nigga out of Port Arthur, Texas, named Fresh Fred. This nigga got a song called, uh, it's a song on his, it's a YouTube channel. Y'all heard that shit? It's a song on his YouTube channel called I've Been Hot. I've Been Hot is a song name. Go to Fresh Fred, Fresh Fred YouTube channel. I'm going uh, to put the link in the description box. Go look at this motherfucking video. This nigga is doing this shit, and I respect that shit. When a nigga is doing this shit on his own, independent. This is why I fuck with Little Village like that. Independent. Because it's so easy to have somewhat of a, of a, um, of a buzz, of momentum going, and just say, fuck it. Because these labels are starving for this shit. Like anything, anything, nigga. Trust me. Trust me. If you can garner, if you have more than real, real people, 20,000 subscribers on your YouTube, 10,000 followers on your Instagram, and you get real interaction and shit like that, they're at you. They're at you. Need you. Nigga, you got some shit going, nigga. Please come over here. Motherfuckers are starving for, to keep people. Netflix. Uh, Katrina told me that shit. Like, Netflix is about to go down the fucking hole because Disney's finna pull their shit or some shit like this. Entertainment is the only natural resource that motherfuckers, like, can't go and get a robot to do it. So... If you're in this music shit, this is the time. If you're in this entertainment shit, this is the time to go. Hone in on your fucking craft and make it look at what the fuck you blue face. Come on, man. They're showing you this shit is not about talent. It's not about shit. It's not about nothing but your willingness to bend the fuck over. <laughs> That's why I salute the motherfuckers that don't, you know what I'm saying, um sell the fuck out and um you know it's not selling out to me if you partner up with the label which means they don't give you a 360 deal like partnering up with me means so, something like a a distribution or something like that uh like dapper dan was talking about um partner with them of course i'm the smaller what i need is the worldwide distribution i don't have a I don't have plugs in fucking Hong Kong, China to where my shit will be in their stores or in fucking uh, Istanbul, Russia. You know what I'm saying? That's what the fuck I need. I don't need none of your fucking help. I just need that shit over there. I'll pay you for it, actually. Then they, you might break down a deal like, no money involved. Look, just give us this off of it. No 50-50, but I need, I, I, you know, so you have to, you know what I'm saying, deliver it on what you want to do and shit like that. I can salute that. Um, but with that, you're going to have to build up your own fucking fan base and do your own runs and shit like that. Uh, but I respect motherfuckers for doing that. So definitely go fuck my dog um, on that shit. Like I said, I'm going to put that link in the description box. But with niggas like this and they're always going to have these clown ass situations. We just saw this shit with... Um, uh, your homeboy Southside, man. Young Miami just put him on the motherfucking glass. I'm hearing that goddamn uh, Meg the Stallion just caught money bag yo cheating or some shit like that. And it's like my nigga, like, what the fuck, bitch? Oh man, I don't, like, why the fuck? Why, why I gotta respect this? Nothing. That, why? The, what the fuck? This bitch can't even show her, her fucking real face in public. Why the fuck do I gotta respect this bitch? Come on, my nigga. 
Come on, my nigga, man. Come on with that bullshit, man. Come on with that bullshit. And it's like, so, it, like, what it's about? Like, what, is this, is it an act? Is this a fucking, what, like, is that, that's what I'm saying. Nigga, say what the fuck it is. Are y'all just saying y'all together to say y'all together? Because, I, but now it's coming out, uh, it, he cheating on her. Like, is this, did, have y'all, did Mona Scott take over the rap game? Uh, Love and Hip Hop, Atlantic Records. Yeah, uh, Money Bag Yo and Maggie Stallion. Yeah, they had to get together because both their names start with an M. But it makes you watch Cardi B and uh, 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 Young Miami and uh, Maggie Stallion and uh, they hot good. Everybody want them. Keep your eyes on them. Oh, I, I knew, I knew, I knew it, I knew it. And I've been having that thought, dog, that that the reality TV shit has went beyond the TV and went into the real world, to where everything is just fucking for drama and entertainment. None of this shit is fucking real. And we can all say, ah, none of this shit is real. But I want proof. I want proof. I like to have examples of the shit. I don't want to just. You know, uh, this shit ain't none of this shit real. How? It just ain't real. Nah, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna have an example. And this shit right here, so she called him cheating. I, I that was fast. Why the fuck would? Why? The way we look at money bag, yo. The way we look at yo, got it. We don't look at money bag yo the same way we look at yo got it. But as a street nigga, we know I don't know. I you know as I'm thinking about it, you know what, dog, you might get that that might just be what you gotta do, dog. Just cause you wanna say, yeah, I'm dating a stripper. Yeah, you know, yeah, we just yeah, real street nigga, bro. We get the bad bitches. I didn't wanna and if you wanna show niggas that you can get them. I mean, that, that, that's that's what's up. I feel you, but at this point, everyone knows that money can get anybody. You know that. You know that. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you want strikes for something, you do it off of you, not off of the money. Would she really fuck with you? Like, would Megan the Stallion fuck with you? The way Nicki Minaj is fucking with that street nigga? You know what I'm saying? So that's just some different shit right there. Like, and I just, I just don't, I guess it, it's, I mean, it, I guess you just gotta do what you gotta do. Cause this game is like, nigga, if you want a, a long lasting career and maybe if I look back, I look at all the rappers, they've always dated a R and B or a female artist or some shit like that. Maybe we can make that correlation. Uh, so they're just following textbook rules. Uh, fuck with somebody in the industry or somebody that everybody knows so that you can be but I don't that's more of the same shit like why not it's not seven girls in the industry I mean it's all it's so many bad bitches it is so many bad bitches and there's so many I would like to think in my mind as I'm about to embark on this journey into the world I like to think that it's some, the further you go out, there's some good women out there that's fine and shit like that. I like, I want to thank that. Um, of course, they're not going to be a lot of them, but I want to thank that it's some. And I, I think that when you got a budget like this, I know that it's going to make the shit cloudy and be blind and shit like that because they're not really going to see you. But I don't know, my nigga. I just, I just, God damn. I mean, if you if you come from game, it's like you you'll be able to see this shit. Like this whole she got her own, she got a degree, she got you know what I'm saying, she got you know what I mean. So you can pretty much and if that whole ass for anything, it's what the fuck, it's over with. It's over with. I got this money, and if this whole ass for anything, it's over with. That's simple as fuck. So why can't I go out here and find me a normal girl and? She look good and shit like that. We ain't gotta. If I really want 
a significant other. And why the fuck would I get somebody in my same field when nine times out of ten that shit is going to end in somebody being exposed? Not only that, but we're going to have conflicting schedules. Do I want to be with her or do I just want to be with her name? On paper, do I want to be with her? Money bag, yo, make the stallion. All right, that's going to promote both of us. So it's a business decision, just like the uh, the uh, foreigners that get married and shit like that. So now they can stay in the United States. That's what it must be. How did she find, she caught him cheating? What the fuck? How? How, nigga? You know, nigga. And how? And what the fuck do you mean cheating? What do you mean cheating? Cheating how? But I don't, man, it, it, like, what the fuck? So I, I'm a faithful nigga? I'm a faithful nigga? I'm money bag, yo, but I'm faithful? Come on, my nigga. Stop that fucking bullshit, man. I'm gonna go faithful for you. Because you, I, man, come the fuck on, man. You nigga, that, that, that shit is. But, you know, it is what it is, man. And with this blue face shit, it just really come down to him this his situation in part he a lame ass nigga and um it just it just hit him hard because he was under the impression that this bitch was here for jonathan or whatever the fuck his name is he really thought that this was all him he didn't think that it was blue face this is this is the same nigga who, who made a claim that he's the best lyricist in the game he's a fucking clown dog he's a clown this a lame ass nigga that everybody know is lame. This, you know how the, the nerds now they hood at the cool table and shit. <laughs> and now you and nigga the, the what's um a love don't cost a thing. Nick Cannon and shit like that. <laughs> and now the girl tell you, yeah, I'm only here because you're paying me. What? Oh my god! Can't believe this. What the fuck? But, you know, that, that's some lame-ass nigga. That, that is how that shit go, man. But like I said, get your mind together. Get your head together. Um, I implore you, if your significant other is in the way, in any shape, form, or fashion, if you're doing something productive towards your future in business and they distract you, block you, disrupt your focus in any way, you need to end the relationship immediately. And you can call that shit, nigga, this trying to end my relationship. I don't want your bitch, nigga. I don't want your hope. I want to be successful. I'm telling you that you know you're not where you want to be. So for you to be in a relationship, you're pretty much saying, I'm cool with this. I, yeah, that, I, I do that on the side. And that's why the fuck you don't get results. That's why every six months you look and you're in the same spot. I made an Instagram post. I made a post on Facebook. I posted my song. I posted the lyrics to my song on my uh, Facebook. You know, it's going to get some folks coming. I put, I, 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 put, I got an IG sponsorship. Yeah, so that, that, that's going to get some folks coming. retarded but make sure you go to the patreon make sure you hit the paypal we've been a rap trap i'll see you on the minute love love